Dear brothers and sisters, there is a call that resonates within each of us, a restlessness that cannot be ignored. Perhaps you felt this deep desire to discover the greater purpose for which you were created, a divine mission that nothing in this world can satisfy. Maybe you've sought answers, and on your journey, encountered closed doors, doubts, and blockages that seem impossible to overcome. But know this, nothing you are experiencing is without reason, and the longing you feel is no mistake. There is something greater waiting for you, something that transcends the ordinary, something that was designed for your life before you even took your first breath. But discovering this mission requires more than human effort. It demands a process of surrender, listening, discernment, and often inner purification. And yes, it takes courage to face the internal and external challenges that arise along the way. If you feel that you are destined for something greater, if you know that a divine voice is calling you, then this message is for you. In this journey, we will explore not only how to find the purpose for which you were chosen, but also how to break through the spiritual blockages that have prevented you from aligning fully with that purpose. Together, we will uncover the steps of this deep spiritual process, understanding how to trust in divine direction, overcome trials, and ultimately act in faith to live the mission the Creator has prepared for you. Open your heart and prepare yourself for a journey that will transform your life. From the beginning of time, those who have been chosen for a special mission have felt a deep inner call. It may come as an inexplicable yearning, a sense that there is something more to be lived, something beyond what the eyes can see. This call doesn't come as an audible voice from outside, but as an inner voice that resonates within the depths of your spirit. Many of us, upon feeling this call, are unsure of how to respond. Doubt and fear are often our first companions on this journey. We wonder, am I ready? Am I worthy? Do I truly have a special mission? And often, the noise of the world around us makes us doubt this inner voice even more. But dear ones, know that this call is not for the perfect. History is full of examples of imperfect people who were chosen for great purposes. They faced their fears, their weaknesses, and their limitations, but what set them apart was their willingness to listen, to believe, and to move forward, even when circumstances were unfavorable. This call is God's whisper to your heart. Do not ignore it. The further you move from this voice, the emptier and more restless you will feel. When the Creator calls us, He does so because He knows us better than we know ourselves. He knows what we are capable of, even when we doubt ourselves. And His divine mission, if we choose to follow His path, is what will truly bring us fulfillment and meaning in this life. Once we hear the inner call, the next step is to seek spiritual direction. But how do we discern this direction in a world filled with so much noise and distraction? The search for divine direction cannot be rushed. It requires us to slow down, to enter into silence and stillness so that we can hear the whisper of God. Spiritual direction is given to hearts that are open in humility. Often, our minds are so full of expectations and preconceived ideas that we lose the ability to hear true guidance. The Creator rarely speaks through grand, spectacular signs. More often, He works subtly, using everyday situations, small coincidences, the words of someone close, or even the challenges we face. As we seek this direction, we must have hearts willing to accept that. Many times, what God reveals to us is not what we initially imagined or desired. His guidance may lead us down unfamiliar roads, places of discomfort where we are forged and prepared for something greater. At other times, His spiritual direction will bring us into seasons of waiting where patience becomes our greatest virtue. In all of this, we must trust. Throughout this journey, the greatest challenge we will face is not external. It will not be the circumstances around us that stop us from moving forward, but the storms that arise within. When we try to understand our divine purpose, fear and doubt become our main opponents. Am I capable? Why haven't I found the clarity I seek? Am I on the right path? These questions echo in the hearts of all who are called, and often, the lack of immediate answers brings a deep sense of frustration. However, let me remind you that the process of discovering purpose is also a process of spiritual growth. Just as gold must be refined by fire, we too go through periods of trial in which our fears and doubts are exposed. 
These moments are not signs of weakness, but rather signs that we are being molded and prepared. In such times, we must learn to trust more in God's vision than in our own. Fear may try to paralyze us, but faith moves us forward. Even when we don't have all the answers, we must keep walking. Purpose is not revealed all at once, but discovered throughout the journey. Step by step, the direction becomes clearer. Many expect grand signs, believing their purpose will be revealed in an unmistakable, spectacular way. But God often communicates in simpler, more unexpected ways. Divine signs are like small lights along the path, guiding us through moments of darkness. The key is developing the spiritual sensitivity needed to recognize these signs. They may come in the form of a dream, an unexpected word from a friend, or even a difficulty that forces us to change direction. Sometimes God uses the challenges themselves as signs that we need to adjust our course or grow in a certain area before moving forward. It is crucial not to rush the process of discernment. Not every setback is a sign that we are off track, and not every ease is a confirmation that we are aligned with God's purpose. We must seek discernment in constant prayer, asking the Holy Spirit to grant us clarity. And above all, we must be willing to accept that God's signs may not align with our expectations, but will always be what we need. One of the hardest lessons to learn in the pursuit of our purpose is the lesson of patience. We want quick answers, clear directions, and immediate results. But God's timing is not like ours. He works silently, often invisibly, preparing the ground of our lives long before He reveals the harvest. We must learn to trust in the process, even when it seems like nothing is happening. Often the greatest spiritual breakthroughs occur during periods of waiting, when on the surface, it appears we are stagnant. But in truth, the Creator is working on our hearts, strengthening our faith, shaping our character and preparing us for the next stage. Patience, therefore, is more than a virtue, it is a vital spiritual tool. Waiting is not a punishment but a phase of preparation. Just as a potter carefully molds clay, God molds us with patience, knowing the exact moment to release us into our mission. There is a phase in the spiritual journey that few understand, but that all must inevitably face, loneliness. When we are called to something greater, we often find ourselves in places of isolation, where those around us cannot fully comprehend what we are experiencing. But loneliness is not a punishment. It is a season of spiritual growth and intimacy with God. In the desert of loneliness, we are forced to let go of others, expectations, and align ourselves more deeply with the inner voice that guides us. And it is in this silence that the greatest spiritual revelations occur. Those who accept loneliness as part of the process are rewarded with a spiritual clarity that would not be possible otherwise. When we detach from distractions and the need for others' approval, we become more sensitive to divine direction and more capable of hearing God's voice in our lives. As we journey, many of us encounter blockages that prevent us from moving forward. These blockages may stem from past traumas, emotional wounds, or false beliefs we have adopted over time. They manifest as fears, insecurities, and even a sense of being trapped in patterns we cannot break. But know this, God's call for your life is a call to freedom. He desires that you be free from everything that holds you back, from anything that keeps you from living the mission He has entrusted to you. Breaking these blockages requires courage. We must confront our wounds, forgive ourselves and others, and leave behind the chains that bind us to the past. Forgiveness is a powerful key in this process. Often we carry hurts that invisibly keep us trapped in cycles of pain. When we choose to forgive, we free our spirits to move forward and we make room for God's grace to work in our lives. At the end of this journey of discovery, one final action remains, to act in faith. It is not enough to hear the call, discern the signs, and break the blockages. We must step forward. Faith without action is dead, and the divine purpose for our lives only comes to fruition when we act in alignment with it. The mission we have been given is not for our fulfillment alone. It is meant to serve others and bring glory to God. Each of us has a unique role in the grand divine plan, and it is our responsibility to respond to that call with courage and determination. May you, dear reader, find within yourself the strength to move forward, to overcome the challenges, and to finally live out the divine purpose for which you were created. 
There is no greater joy in this life than walking in alignment with God's will.